All right, so welcome back. So for this video, we are going to go over formula mass, and we'll be calculating the formula mass of three different molecules. It'll be zinc chloride, aluminum sulfate, and magnesium sulfate pentahydrate. All right, so let's start off by looking at the individual formula masses of the elements zinc and chlorine. So let's write it out like this, zinc and chlorine. And we'll be rounding everything to the nearest whole number. So in this situation, we have zinc right here with a mass of 65.38. So it rounds to 65. Chlorine, on the other hand, has a mass of 35.45, which rounds to 35. So now in this case, we do need to consider the number of atoms inside this L in this molecule. So notice we have one zinc atom, and we have two chlorines. So we go ahead and multiply 35 times 2, and we get 70. And we add that, and we get a mass of 135 grams per mole. So you can write out the units, but I will not be writing these out from here on out. So now for the second problem, we have aluminum sulfate. And if we look at the periodic table, aluminum has a mass of 26.9. So that rounds to 27. Sulfur has a mass of 32.06, 32. Oxygen has a mass that rounds to 16. So now we consider the number of each element inside the molecule. So aluminum has, there are two aluminums in this molecule. There are three sulfurs. Notice that we have this three outside the parentheses. This gets distributed out. And it appears as if we have a, a molecule that looks like this, but it should never be written like this unless you're calculating the mass and it looks easier for you, then go for it. But this, you'll never see this out there. All right. So in this case, we have three sulfurs, and we have 12 oxygens. So 27 times 2, that'll be 54. 32 times 3, 96. 12 times 16, I did this before, and it's 192. And if we add all of these uh, masses for each of these elements, then we do get a mass of 342. Now let's try magnesium sulfate pentahydrate. Notice we say penta because of this 5 right here. So we have Mg, S, O, and then we're going to keep H2O as a group. And it'll be H2O. So Mg, if we look at the periodic table, is right here, and it has a mass that rounds to 24. Sulfur, if we recall from before, has a mass of 32. Oxygen still has a mass of 16. And H2O, notice it's made of hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen has an approximate mass of 1 gram per mole. There are two in this molecule of water. There are two hydrogens. So we multiply 1 times 2 plus 16 for the mass of oxygen. And we get 18. So in this situation... H2O has a mass of 18. We have 1 Mg, 1 S, and we have 4 oxygens. We multiply times 4. Notice that we're not including the oxygens for from water with the oxygens from magnesium sulfate. This is to simplify our math. And we have to start thinking about our components inside the molecules as groups. For instance, sulfates, we always consider it together. So in this situation, we have 16 times 4, which would be 64. And then we have 18 times 5, which will be 90. And if we add all of these items together, we get a mass of 210. And that's pretty much how you solve for the formula mass of these three items. So here it is again for zinc chloride, aluminum sulfate, 
and magnesium sulfate pentahydrate. In the next video, we'll go ahead and calculate the percent composition of each element and the amount of water inside of this hydrate.